Yes, bread. Yes, bread. Yes, bread. 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 <laughs> Goodbye, bread. Oh. <laughs> Who was that you were talking to? My mother. Right. What is that she put there, Colin? Just Stamp Alban. Oh, how was he? No, no, you want to heap your stuff out of Stamp Alban's, Julia. Do you realise that in 1966 it cost five cents to send a stamp anywhere in Australia? Yes, that's because the economy's fluctuated. Yeah, I'll say. Totally. <laughs> I've got no interest in stamp collecting, Colin. I think it's for wimps. Wow, a stamp album. See? <laughs> Did, did you used to collect stamps, Michael? I used to be quite a keen philatelist, yeah. I was even in a club. What, for little philatelists? <laughs> mm. Where'd you get the stamp album? Elsie gave it to me. Oh, wasn't that nice? Mm. I suppose so. You seem to be a little bit down on Elsie at the moment, oh. Julia. Well, so would you, Michael, if you woke up every morning to find the windscreen of your car had been piddled on. Elsie does that? <laughs> Her cat, Colin. Mm. Horrible flea-bitten thing it is. Michael? Yeah? How come so many of these stamps have got the Queen's head on them? No, they're Commonwealth stamps, mate. She's been on there since 1952. Gee. Imagine how many people have licked the back of the Queen's head. <laughs> yes. Sure, the Queen used to look really different back then. Yeah, well, she was a lot younger back then, mate. Yeah, and on this one, she's even got a beard. No, Colin, that's her father. Eh? Hey? The king. That's Elvis Presley? Oh, Colin. Look at this. Pittswood Council to close local conservation group. What? A spokesperson said that funds were no longer available to support the group. It's terrible. You're a member of that group, aren't you? Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> you see, this is typical. Local government always puts conservation at the bottom of the list. No, Michael. No, no, Colin, just let me have my say for once around here, all right? I mean, would they ever cut funding to the local football club? No way. Ma but when it comes to actually saving the planet, they won't spend a cent. Michael. Colin. The milk's off. <laughs> Very good, Colin. All right, Colin, what are your plans for today? Oh, I'm going to be giving Elsie a hand with her spring cleaning. Oh, are you? You can do me a favour then. What? You happen to see that sweet little pussy cat next door piddling on my car? Kick it. No, no you can't do that, Julia. You'd ruin the duco. <laughs> the cat, Colin, not the car. Right. <laughs> so what do you got planned for today, Julia? Uh, I've got an appointment with Brett Davies. Brett? Mm -hmm. He's a friend of the family. He's a very famous antique dealer. Really? Mm -hmm. He thinks he might be able to get me a job. Selling antiques or making them? Oh, that'd be great. Just think. No more teaching at Pittswood Technical School. My God! What is it? Julian, look at this stamp. My God! It's a stamp with a duck on it. No, it's an inverted swan. Mm, how fascinating. Uh, Julia, you don't understand. If this stamp is genuine, it's worth over $10,000. I've always been fascinated with stamp collecting. Thanks for helping me, Colin. <laughs> oh, I don't mind. Do you like the stamp album? Yeah, it's real interesting. I didn't realise there were so many countries in the world. Mesopotamia, Minsk, Czechoslov, Czechs. Spain. <laughs> My mother gave it to me when I was a girl. Do you, do you really want me to have it? Oh, you might as well, Colin. I'll only take it to the pawn shop. The pawn shop? <laughs> the pawn shop interested in that sort of stuff, isn't it? Well, it's full of it. Haven't you been there? That, not recently or, or, or ever. <laughs> oh, I've seen some amazing things there. Don't you get embarrassed? <laughs> Not at my age, Colin. Why, only last week I bought a lovely condom. Don't have to tell me, don't have to tell me. <laughs> Colin, it looks lovely on the sideboard. <laughs> the salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> what did you think I meant? 
doesn't matter. Fancy a cup of tea, Cole? Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Milk? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Sugar? Five. Five? Yeah, I'm, I'm cutting him down. $10,000. We're rich. No, Julie, we're not rich. Colin is rich, right? Elsie gave the stamp album to him. Oh, Michael, Michael, Michael. Elsie would have wanted us to share it. She's very thoughtful. I thought you said you're annoyed with her because a cat keeps piddling on your car. Oh, well, it's got to piddle somewhere, Michael. <laughs> Imagine what we could do with $10,000. We could help the poor, the needy, us. No, Julia. And you can save your conservation group. And what about Colin? We can buy some lollies. Julia. No, oh, no I was only joking. No, I was joking. Uh, of course, we would, uh, we would uh, give him a third of the money. No, I don't approve. All right, we'll give him a quarter. What? Maybe like, ma an eighth. No, no Julia. Oh, no. That was, was a joke again. <laughs> so I was joking again. No, um, okay, what we... I've got an idea. This is what we'll do. Let's wait till we get the stamp valued. Then if it really is worth something, then we'll tell Colin about it. Why are we whispering? I'm not, shh. Then he can decide what he wants to do with the money. Well... That way, if it's worth nothing, you won't be disappointed. <coughs> oh, that's Brett. Um, I've got to get my hand back. Hang on. Ta-da! <laughs> Look what Elsie gave us. Jam. Or if it makes you feel all better, we could call it conserve. <laughs> Thanks, Colin. What's the matter, Michael? Don't you like conserve? No. Sorry, mate. I was thinking about something else. Why? Right. Well, you know your stamp album. I think one of the stamps in it could be worth something. Oh, yeah? How much? Well, ten, maybe even twelve. Dollars? <laughs> I think it could be worth more than that, mate. Twenty? But don't get your hopes up, all right, because I could be wrong. How do I look? Brett will be impressed. Brett? Ooh, very nice. She has a little boogie hanging down there. Too. Very funny, Colin. <laughs> Brett. Brett. Whoa, check out the sports car. You know what they say about guys who drive big cars, Colin? Why? Right. You know, big cars, little... Fingers. <laughs> Little... Legs. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> Ma Michael, this is Brett. Brett, this is Michael. G'day, Mike. Ah, uh, it's Michael, actually. Colin, this is Brett. G'day, Cole. <laughs> Michael was just telling me about you guys who drive sports cars. Yeah? Run it by me, Cole. Well, he reckons you've got time. Ah, right. <laughs> so, uh, Brett, how long uh, have you had the sports car? How long have you had the Cortina? <laughs> God, that, that's Julia's car. No, that's not. That's Colin's car. Gee, thanks. <laughs> My Saab is being serviced at the moment. Yeah, I like something a bit more sporty myself. Yeah, so do I. Maserati, Lamborghini, Ford Cortini. <laughs> something with a bit of power. <laughs> Personally, I'm against big cars. Oh, really? Yeah, bad for the environment. Absolute amon. <laughs> and what do you drive, Mark? A bicycle. <laughs> well, if you can't afford anything else. That's right. Uh, well, Brett and I are going to get going. Brett's taking me somewhere Japanese. Brisbane? <laughs> boom, boom. No, we're going to a sushi bar. Raw fish? <laughs> ah, delish. <laughs> you like raw fish, Mark? Ah, uh, no, I'm vegetarian. How 70s. <laughs> yes! <laughs> OK, well, we best get going. Bye-bye, boys. Bye. Ah, pretty. Just a little word of advice. Don't park your car on the neighbour's nature strip. Oh, really? Why not, Cole? Well, because the cat's piddling on it, you lift your sunroof down. <laughs> oh, the bloody cat! <laughs> Bye! Bye. <laughs> what a jerk that brick guy is. <laughs> well, I mean, he is a flappy.
yuppie. You know what he does for a living? He's an antique dealer. I didn't think he was that old. He probably buys stuff from poor, gullible little old ladies and then sells it for a thousand percent profit. Yeah. My mum knew a guy like that once. He turned up on the doorstep and offered her 50 bucks for all the furniture in the house. I hope she didn't take it. No, she did. It wasn't her house. <laughs> Colin, what would you do if you got, say, suddenly $10,000? Well, I certainly wouldn't buy a sports car. Me neither. You know, I wouldn't waste my money trying to impress people. Me neither. I haven't got a law, you know what. <laughs> See, I'd do something worthwhile. You know, I'd give some money to World Vision, some to Amnesty International. I'd make a donation to Mother Teresa. I'd take my newfound wealth, Colin, and, and I'd use it to help the poor and needy people of the world. I'd buy a new pair of Dax. <laughs> Good night, Colin. Good night, Michael. Enjoy a piece of toast? No, thank you, Colin. So how was your night last night? <laughs> oh, we painted the town red. Graffiti artist, did you? <laughs> Very funny, Colin. Julia, you... You're not getting serious about that Brett guy, are you? Oh, no, no, no. It's a business relationship. Brett's teaching me all about the antique business. Very, very interesting, you know. The older things get, the more valuable they are. Gee, your Cortina must be worth a packet by now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brett's taking me to the football today to meet some of his associates. Ah. He's got a box. <laughs> what, to sit on? No, to sit in. You're going to sit in a box? Yeah, all of us are. Must be a big box. Yes, it is. Oh, that'll be him. Michael? Michael? Can you believe this? Hey? It's disgusting. Well, drop the hem, that ought to tone it down a bit. It's disgusting that this Brett guy thinks he can come around here blowing his horn first thing in the morning. Yeah, well, Julia seems pretty impressed. Yeah, well, Julia would be impressed by a wombat if it drove a sports car. <laughs> Hi. Colin, do you mind if Brett borrows your stamp album? No, I don't mind. Oh, good. It's just that he's very interested in stamps. Ah, he's a philatelist like you, Michael. <laughs> Philatelist, Colin. Colin, I don't think you should let Julia take the stamp album. Why not? Because one of the stamps in there could be worth a lot of money. Well, if it is, then he will tell us, won't he? Thank you, Colin. You really are a worry wart, Michael. <laughs> and look, here's an old school photo of mine. Uh, let me guess which one's you. Yeah, go on. Uh, that one? That's the captain of the men's rowing team. Oh. <laughs> there I am. You look so young. Well, it was 1939. Now, that was the year of Churchill, Mussolini and that horrible Hitler. And they were all at your school, were they? <laughs> no, Colin, they were... Never mind. Uh, did you keep any of your school photos? Oh, yeah, I got a photo for every year I was at high school. Oh, how many is that? Two. <laughs> well, I'd like to see them sometime. 
Yeah, I know one of them isn't very good because somebody kept making donkey ears behind my head. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Yeah, you reckon the headmaster would know better? <laughs> I didn't like school much. Snap, neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> you and I have got a lot in common, Cole. Yeah. Oh, look, 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 look. My old opera glasses. Haven't seen those for years. Opera glasses? Mm. What do they do? Well, they make things look bigger. <laughs> I know a chappy friend of Julia's who could use these. Short-sighted? No, short, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Guess what? Come on. We did it. We, we, we found a sponsor for the conservation group. Old cow margarine. <laughs> the one that tastes like it just came out of a cow. Yep, that's it. All we have to do now is put their logo onto our posters and they'll fund us. Good, eh? But I thought you didn't approve of margarine because it was full of chemicals. <laughs> yeah, well, this one's different, Colin. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just polishing up these uh, opera glasses for Elsie. I, mean, I can't get this black muck off. Yeah, what you need, mate, is some heavy-duty industrial-strength chemical solvent. Thanks, Michael. Why do I tell Elsie? <laughs> yeah. Well, I had it valued today by a friend, and... Uh, Hi. Hi, Mike. Brett brought back a stamp album. No, Collins' stamp album. Anyway, as I was saying, I had it valued today by a friend who's up on these sort of things, and, and she says it's worth a couple of hundred dollars. Oh, we're rich. Oh, how much? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? Uh, but what about the, the introverted swan? Inverted swan. The, the, the what? Michael, you show him. Have a look. Oh, it's a stamp. It's gone. What? It's gone. What have you done with our inverted swan? I didn't see an inverted swan. You pinched it, didn't you? You thought we wouldn't notice. I knew I couldn't trust you. You happy now, Julia? <laughs> you rat! <laughs> You're a crook! Julia, I thought we were supposed to be business partners. So did I. Where's the bloody bird? You're cracked. <laughs> and you're a cheat. Give me back the stamp. Bye, Julia. It's been fun. Oh, oh right. That's right. Off you go into your sports car. Do you know what they say about men that drive sports cars? Big car, little... Don't! <laughs> what are we going to do now? I'll call the police, Michael. And what are we going to tell Colin? I don't know. We don't have to tell him anything. Fortunately, he doesn't know how much it was worth. Hi, guys. Colin, I, I thought you were next door at Elsie's place. Oh, no, she wasn't at home. What was it you were just talking about just then? Nothing, nothing at all. Look, Colin, we did something really stupid. You know how I told you one of the stamps in the album could be worth something? Yeah. Yeah, well, I didn't tell you how much it could be worth, and we think it may be worth over $10,000. Wow! Why do I tell Elsie? She'll be wrapped! <laughs> Lucky I gave her back to her. Colin, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I really thought I could trust Brett. What did you say? Oh, I took um, the stamp out of the stamp album and gave it back to Elsie because Michael reckons that it could be worth a raw lot of money and it turned out that it was. You gave the stamp back to Elsie. Yeah, well, she didn't know how much it was worth when she gave it to me. Mm. You're absolutely right, Colin. Yes, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what you guys would do without moi. <laughs> about men that drive big sports cars. <laughs> yes. Uh, like, you don't hold that against me, do you? <laughs> Brett? Hello? 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 Oh. oh. So, Brett still hasn't forgiven you for slapping him around, Julia? <laughs> Never mind, Julia. Have some of Elsie's jam. No, thank you, Colin. My, uh, Michael? No, thanks, man. Oh, Samara, don't, don't you like jam? Yeah, I just don't like old cow margarine. Why? I thought they were sponsoring a conservation group. No, well, we can't take the money, Julie. We found out that old cow margarine are the same company that has investments in wood chipping. 
So what? If they're offering you money. Oh, it's tainted money. Oh, but you can still buy stuff with it. Not with a clear conscience. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Julia. No, really, sometimes I find your holier-than-thou attitude a little bit hard to take, Michael. I mean, you didn't even offer to give Elsa the stamp back, did you? No, I mean, Elsie is the sweetest, the most loveliest, the cutest the world lady. Julia! <laughs> the cat's piddling on your car again. Oh!